Hello! In this video I will show you how you can create a loyalty program in your store with the loyalty program add-on by SimTech Development. A loyalty program allows you to motivate your customers to spend more money in your store. Uh, for example, uh, when a customer reaches a certain sum of total purchases in your store, they get silver, gold or platinum status. It is not necessarily a one-time purchase, no. A customer may buy something today and return to store in a couple of months and when they reach a certain sum of all their purchases, they get a special status, for example, silver customer. Now let's see how it looks at the storefront. Uh, you already can see uh, the page of loyalty program. And let's see how it looks in the profile of a customer. Next to the general tab, they can see the user groups tab. And here they can see all user groups available in your store. Uh, when you activate a certain user group for the customer, they can see that it's active. I guess it's quite clear. Uh, now let's uh, take a look how it looks like in the admin panel. When you install the add-on, uh, you get a special uh, item here, a special page, loyalty program. On this page, you can specify the user groups and the total amount of purchases the customer should make in your store to get a special loyalty card. The cards can be changed. For example, you can upload another image, you can give another name, whatever. And you can also choose a user group from the user groups those are available in your store. I guess it's quite clear and let's see how it works. I go to our customer, a test one, and I purchase something. For example, PlayStation. Okay. I add it to cart, check out, I prefer phone ordering to save time, the order is placed. Now let's go to the admin panel, customers, customers. Here is our test customer and the user groups available. The purchase of the customer was not so big, just about, let me see, 39.99. So, of course, no loyalty program uh, can be done here automatically because, you know, the um, sum is too small. But we can go and buy some more. For example, I go to sports. Comfort and Cruises and choose two bikes, for instance. OK. Check out. Phone ordering. Submit my order. OK. So now the total amount the customer spent is over 1000. Let's go to Manage Add-ons and see with which statuses of an order you can uh, make the new loyalty program status available. It is in the settings. Here you can choose complete, open, processed and so on. Um, in our case we will be using complete. Ok, let's see. And get back to customers, customers, customers. And make sure that she has no loyalty program now. User groups. All available, but none is active. You can uh, make it active from the admin panel, whatever uh, the total amount is. But in this case, we'll do it automatically. Okay, now let's go to orders. View orders. And change the status. Complete. And complete. 
Okay, let's go to the customer. William is changed. User groups. Now the Silver status is active for this customer. Uh, this is because we have got a loyalty program where Silver clients, uh, those who have spent more than $1,000 in our store, get a special Silver card, which gives them 10% discount in our stores. Uh, that's all about the loyalty programs. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a simple add-on. I should also show you uh, how you can configure the page of the loyalty program. It's a normal page of your website, so you can simply go to the layouts, uh, choose the loyalty program page, and here you can Modify the content. And you can see that you can give it a name. The main content of the page comes from uh, the content we created in the Our Loyalty Program tab here. So you can specify the card here then insert into the block the main content and then you will get it on your loyalty program page of course you can add the loyalty program page in the menu in design menus in the quick links and here you can see the loyalty program thank you for watching goodbye